Okay, on the last episode, we had Annie and Taylor become boyfriend and girlfriend. And I think this episode, we're going to go ahead and just invite Taylor over and hopefully progress a little further along with that. Uh, actually, probably quickly uh, get them engaged and get them married right away. So he can start helping out the farm and get moved in and get settled and stuff. All right, so, yeah, I think we're going to invite him over, hang out the lot with us, and hopefully get all this stuff taken care of. I also want to make sure we get her dressed into her formal wear, which I already made sure was kind of wedding-y looking. It's a very cute little Victorian dress in ivory color. It's very pretty, kind of lacy looking. And he's already okay the way he is. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if people really dressed up a bunch back then. I guess maybe more wealthy families, but I don't know about a farm girl living in a rural little town really cared too much about what her wedding attire was. Maybe she did, maybe she doesn't, I don't know. Uh, I accidentally cut out the part where she officially proposed to Taylor, so we're just going to hop right into eloping, and I'm going to apologize right now because this is probably not the best place to get married is the front hallway. It probably would have been nice to maybe do it outside somewhere, but I didn't think about that. And... My editing's a bit choppy. I'm still learning how to edit and deal with that, but I haven't mastered it as I, you could probably tell with my audio and stuff. It's, it's pretty challenging when you're not used to it and you're learning from scratch, so. But I just think they look so cute together though. Yay! Now we need to get him moved in. All right, now Taylor is officially um, a farmer with Miss Annie here, and I'm shifting over what's left of his money. He doesn't have very much, because if you remember, I put him in the world from my library, so we had to find a house for him, and it took up most of his money. Um, I'm going to get him jump-started right away into farming, so we can get his gardening skill level up, and he can help out, so it's not just Annie doing all the work, because hopefully soon we will have some little sims running around, and she's going to help take care of those. Of course, I'm not going to bother getting him a job because, you know, his job is being a farmer and staying home. Um, I may have him do some fishing, too. Uh, I'm just kind of picking and choosing through the crops in my inventory because I definitely want to sell some, but I'm trying to keep some that I can use to plant in later seasons. So. But I'm not sure. And this fertilizer, there's fertilizers in here. I think I get those from cleaning the cow shed and the chicken coop, but I'm not quite sure what to do with those. I think they're for the large crops, which I haven't really planted yet. Maybe we can kind of get into that soon. But anyway, so have her weed right now just because she's just a little bit faster with it and it's starting to get a little bit late. Um, I wish it was a little sunnier. It's just so cloudy. But it's spring. It's usually kind of rainy and cloudy in spring normally, so I'll see. Now he's finally up it. But, yep, evolved some plants, which is good because the more they evolve, the more money we get for their crops, which is great. Oh, but isn't that cute? Look, they're just sitting by the fire, chit-chatting at the end of the day. But now, remember, we're going to try in Woohoo, and we always have to try for baby because that's part of the challenge. The earlier decades in this challenge, we have them. Always try for baby. Now, wait a minute. Why isn't this not working? Let's try this again. Why is she not trying to woo? -hoo? Yeah, see? That looks like that worked, but they can't come in. Wait a minute. Something is probably blocking their pathfinding or something. I thought I had move objects on, but maybe it's still not working with move objects on. I mean, it starts, and they're like, yes. No, no, she can't get to her side of the bed. All right, well, let's see if we can move some things around or get rid of something. I mean, it looks like there's plenty of room in the bedroom itself. Not sure what I did when I built it. I screwed something up. 
Let's try this again. See if that bedside table was in the way. Maybe, no, as I say, maybe you're finally getting it, but they can't get around the bed. Hmm. We'll just flip it around. And just get rid of that table, I guess. I don't know. We can always get it back if we need it. Try again. Now, why is she going outside? Maybe she's good. No, she's not in the bathroom. See, it's still not working. Ugh. So frustrating. Well, we're just gonna jump right to putting the bed outside because there's plenty of room outside. <laughs> so, let's see if this works now. I mean, they'll be outside, but thankfully it's not raining. We'll just make do for now and then I'll just have to fix their room or see. Oh, great, now there's a looky-loo. Stop it, okay, Judy. You might as well get lost, stop getting involved in our business. Okay, well, it looks like it worked finally. Yay, it's a miracle. <laughs> now that it's after midnight, I just gotta put the bed back and figure out why in the world, because now they gotta be able to sleep. Um, I don't think it's the dresser. Oh, there's a plant in there. It's probably the plant, but maybe I should just make the room bigger. No, but... I don't want to bother with all that because then I'm gonna to have to waste my money and I don't well I have a little bit more money than I used to selling some things really was helpful I don't know maybe we don't need this plant I just like the look of it but we have plenty of plants outside we don't need any plants inside we just need to make it so they can get to bed and sleep so might as well just clean out their bedroom they don't need many things anyway they're living the simple life there you go. Well, I'll see, you have to see if she's pregnant in the morning. Um, I know they obviously didn't have pregnancy tests back then, but I still want to know, so we're still going to do that part. <laughs> so. All right, finally asleep. Okay, I think we're just going to try and get Taylor used to all the jobs on the farm. Um, and take care of his needs here. He's a little hungry and he's got to go to the bathroom. So just get him some breakfast and go to the bathroom. Try and get him started on the chicken coop and get a relationship with the cow. Start milking. Do that too. And of course do more gardening because we definitely need to get those skills up. And of course yay we got some more plants that need to be evolved. That's great. Oh. Annie's starving. See if we can get her some leftovers a while and go pee. <laughs> Look at her waddle. Oh shoot, I forgot to check her for pregnancy. Oh, of course, he's gonna like gardening. That would be perfect. Well, we're gonna have to get her to test, but let's clean the potty first. That's disgusting. And then we'll take our pregnancy test and see if we're having a baby. Yay, we are eating for two. Good. Yay. All right, so we'll have her help with the chores. Oh, shoot, Bills. Aw, how bad are they? Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, at least we have some money. Ugh, it's not great, but... I mean, I hate using the phone to pay the bills, but the mailbox is so far away. <laughs> I mean, I guess they have plenty of time to walk over there. They have 24 hours, but... Eh, she'll do it from her phone for now. So. Alright, so I want him to be, I want Taylor to be like the handyman at the house, um, the repairman. So if anything breaks, instead of replacing it, because we want to kind of conserve money, um, I want him to repair it. So we're going to, I got him a work table, and we're going to work on his handiness skill and get that up. Plus we can sell whatever he makes, so that's more money. So, oh great. She was beating herself up when she was cooking this meal. But, anyway, just gonna kind of keep going here until it's time for the baby to come out. Just kind of grinding through the everyday farm day chores. 
work on her knitting skills and her cross stitching skills. Um, be super cute to make some little outfits for the baby, but most of the things you can knit for babies because is, um, don't really look 1890s-ish. So I don't know. Or toddlers, I should say. They don't really make them for the babies. See? Look at all the money you can get from gardening. It is really OP. It really is. I mean, if you get a lot of plants on your property and just garden once a day, you can be raking in some big money. But I'm going to also have him go out and see if we can find any collectibles in the area. Um, I'm not real familiar with the layout of Henford on Bagley, so I'm not sure where all the collectibles kind of pop up. So I'm going to have to kind of scroll around here and see. Ooh, I also want to try and get him started on fishing. He can be our fisherman because we can sell his fish and we might get some interesting things out of the pond that we can sell too. It's just another way to make money. But... You know, I don't know. I think I would think a guy in the 1890s, if they had time, they would go fishing. Okay, here at least Taylor gets the opportunity to fix something so we can work on his handiness skill and not have to replace sinks and toilets and stuff. Not really toilets, but maybe the tub. I mean, we do have a toilet, an outhouse, but no indoor. Um, selling the collectibles he was able to collect while he was out doing his fishing trip. Oh gosh, it gets so dark. So fast. But we'll have Taylor try and feed the chickens for once instead of always making Annie do it. Um, but I notice I think you usually have to do clean the coop twice or it gets really dirty really quick. So sometimes I do it in the morning and the evening. I don't know. Try and get him to plant a few more crops and do some weeding, harvesting. I mean, Annie's pregnant. She probably shouldn't be doing too much bending over and squatting, but I don't know. She's probably used to it. There she can talk with the chickens. She's kind of being a little flirty there with the chickens. That's weird. Collecting the eggs, but maybe we can work on her chicken relationship. Get some pets in and some hugs. But they seem to love her. So at least the hens do. I don't know about the rooster. He's kind of a grump. But we'll check on Gertrude now and see how she's doing. Oh, she's filthy. Let's see. So, we'll just go ahead and clean Gertrude. Look at the, here comes the rooster. <laughs> Look at him strutting over, making all kinds of noise. I don't think he likes it when I brush Gertrude. He's done that a few times when I'm trying to take care of Gertrude. I don't know what his problem is. It's so weird. Let's have her do some inside chores. I think the stove looks dirty, but I think that's just the texture. I mean, it always looks like that, and it never changes when I do clean it, so it's just made look old, I guess. Let's see her finish some more knitting projects here. Uh, these outfits are really cute, but I don't think I'm ever going to dress a rabbit or a llama in this save. Seems kind of weird. <laughs> but we can still make things and sell things, so we'll do that. Now, I don't know how I missed Taylor's outfits, but I need to change them to make them a little more 1890s. I think I must have just looked, lucked out for his everyday outfit. When I put him in the world, I didn't really scroll through his wardrobe so we're gonna do that now try and get something that looks okay for each season we probably won't get through all his clothes I don't really know I mean I have them on normal lifespan and I have the seasons pack which I have set on a month for each season so I don't really know if he'll make it through a whole year probably not <laughs> I don't remember how long it takes but no, make him fancy with the top hat. Top hat's not bad. I mean, maybe that would be okay for formal. Let's find something. Yeah, there you go. That looks very farmer-esque, doesn't it? You now he's maybe find some boots to wear. Something booty. 
and then definitely not a do-rag for a hat. I don't know if he really needs a hat anyway. We'll just stick with our little overall dungarees. Find something for nighttime. I have no idea what they wore for pajamas in the 1890s, but a robe, can't go wrong with a robe. I don't see them going to any parties either, but we'll just make him a little dressed up. A little snappy dresser. Suspenders and a tie, can't go wrong with that. Some dress shoes. Should we do another hat? I guess they wore hats a lot when they went outside. I don't really remember. I should have probably brushed up on my 1890s a little bit. I don't really know what's going to match here. Maybe this little beret thing? Maybe? Okay. Hot weather gear. I don't know. Maybe another farm outfit? Something? Yeah. Like, that would be perfect, I think. Something that would be okay to wear on the farm with some more boots. And we have our winter outfit already, which I like pretty much. I think this looks much better. Not sure about this formal outfit, though. It might be a little too too much, but I don't see us using it really, so I guess it doesn't matter. It's fine. I like the top hat, though. <laughs> so I think all these look much better than what they were. Pretty close to 1890s wear, as close as I can get. I don't have any custom content, so I'm just going with what I have. So I guess this is pretty good for his outfits. I mean, they all look really cute and they seem to work. I think we'll put that for his everyday now though. The other one was a little too fancy for going out and digging in the ground and milking the cows and all that stuff. So just another out overall outfit, very cute. But, oh, this load screen takes forever sometimes, but Anyway, all right, so we're going to sell some of the things he made and some of the crops he got today. We're doing pretty good with money. Um, it really helped that she collected all her stuff, and then I didn't sell it until, well, until after they were married, and I sold it all at once, and I got a couple thousand. So that was pretty awesome. Oh, I forgot. He's hot-tempered, so that's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. He's going to go out and kick the trash can. Yeah, he's too mad to clean out the spoiled food. Fine, kick over the trash can, make yourself feel better. Really? See, now you gotta go clean it up. I mean, was it worth it? Was your little temper tantrum worth doing extra cleanup? I don't think it was. Yeah, okay, well, let's have her get something to eat. I mean, with her being preggers, she gets hungry so easily and she has to go to the bathroom all the time. I mean, that's kind of normal, but it can be a little frustrating. But anyway, I like their sink. It's so pretty. Kind of want one of those sinks in my, my house. Something big like that. Plenty of space. But anyway. Oops. Better go to the bathroom before you pee yourself, woman. I guess it's okay if you pee outside. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Let's take care. Oh gosh, the chickens are hungry. There is some feed out there. Why are they not eating the feed? That's so weird. All right, fine. Fresh feed. Clean the coop. I mean, how do you call chickens? Do you go, here, chicky, chicky, chick. Come eat your feed. And pet the chickies. Eh. We're just gonna, let's go hug the chickies. Pet and hug. See, look, they give me hearts. They love me. They think I'm awesome. <laughs> we'll have him come over and clean the coop. We'll let her feed them and hug them, and he can do the cleaning. How about that? That's only fair. She should be ready to pop soon. See? We got a nice harvest going here. I don't know if you need to worry about being flirty. Your flirtiness has already gotten you in trouble. You're preggers. But... All right, back to knitting. Some of these things are just so cute. I wish you could put the hats on babies. I don't know, maybe you can put them on the toddlers. I've never actually tried it before. I think I've knitted sweaters for my grown-ups, but I've never actually put any of the toddler things on the toddlers. So, I don't know. Yeah, dislikes handiness. I don't think so. You're our handyman. You gotta love handiness. All right, feeding Gertrude. See, look, the chickens don't like it when I show attention to the cow. I wonder if they just get jealous because they love me. Hmm, 
I guess it's a possibility. I never really thought about it before. I like watching them waddle back and forth. They're so cute. See? What do you want, chickens? See, you're fine. You've got food. Your coop is good. Yeah, they're fine. I don't know. You shouldn't be having any issues. Looks like the sink in the outhouse needs fixed, so we're going to put him to work on that, right? Yes. Hello. Oh, he's going to go whole way in there to wash his hands. Just go fix the sink. Ugh, whatever. Okay. Hmm. It's not that late, so let's see if we can get them to chit-chat a little bit together. We haven't really done anything romantic since they got married. So, aww. gotta get around that big belly. Pretty hard to do. Trying to get these guys to socialize a little bit. Let's have him interact with the baby in the belly. Isn't that cute? I think it's so funny that they can do that action. That's so cute. She should be ready to pop soon, so that'll be nice. We'll see if we have a boy or a girl. I don't have any names picked out. I think we might just go random, see what pops out. We have to hit the random button a few times. But hurry up, get through the night. Excuse the loud cars. Our room is in the front of the house, so of course it's pretty noisy sometimes, so. But anyway, have her make dinner. I'm pretty sure today is the day she might have the baby, I'm thinking, I don't know should be but oh gosh she peed her when did she pee herself i don't think she peed herself she almost peed herself yesterday oh, i missed that somehow anyway that's kind of the sucky thing oh yay going into labor having a baby i was gonna say it's kind of sucky having to do chores outside when it's thundering and lightning because they're scared of it all the time but oh see now she has to pee again what the heck that's what happens when you're in your third trimester of pregnancy you have to pee all the time oh shoot i don't have the bassinet Okay, so now we have to quickly make this little den area into a baby room. Because <laughs> I did not prepare for this. I should have been ready, but I wasn't thinking. Okay, so we need a bassinet. Bassinet, bassinet. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, let's see if we can pop the baby out and then go pee quick. I don't know, it's because it's kind of a pain when she's scared like this. She's not going to want to go outside and go to the bathroom. That's what happens when you have an outhouse. No indoor plumbing in 1890s. You better save. Oh, it's not going to let me save during the middle of labor. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to freak out, isn't he? Oh, shoot. Stupid bookcase. Okay, it is a girl, baby girl. Let's see. Oh, shoot. None of these are very 1890s. Presley is not an 1890s baby girl name. Stella. No. Ooh. Ellie. That's cute. All right, we're going with that. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's uncomfortable because he's wet. Well, he can go sit in front of the fireplace. Let's see if we can have her go pee. Oh no, she's peeing herself right now anyway. Oh no. That's so nasty. Even if you pee yourself, you wouldn't get brown stuff all over your pajamas. That's disgusting. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> and we still have to feed the baby because the baby's crying. So we have to feed the baby while we're completely disgusting before we get a shower. That's nasty. Oh, now he freaks out about the baby. You were standing there and watching her have the baby. Look at him. Oh well, at least she's got to clean up her pee before she gets the shower too. <laughs> Alright, now we can go take our bath. I keep saying shower, but back in the 1890s, most houses did not have showers, indoor showers. They had tubs and that was about it. And you usually had to fill the tubs with buckets. There were no indoor plumbing. Some places probably did, probably people who had a lot more money than she does. But, oh man, you leave the cow alone for one day and look how bad the barn gets. Ew. You're pretty gross. I told you, you usually have to clean them like twice a day sometimes. It's like... 
Okay, so I think that's it for this episode. We had a lot happen. We got married. We had a kid. We got pregnant and had a kid. But that's it for today. Um, hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe and watch some of my other videos. Thank you. See you next time.